bottom left is my regular N1MM logging software, uh, which you can see quite as normal. Uh, this is my VFO. Uh, I've got the log, got the grey line, top left. This is my telnet, which is part of N1MM, and that's the cluster coming through. Lower right here is if I've ever been spotted, it will come through uh, over here, bottom right, and other odds and ends come through as well. So the main difference between my normal live streaming and today is uh, the ARCP radio control. Now this could be any remote controller. You could do you could do this. So if you've got a Kenwood, the ARCP suite, like the 590, the 2000, the 890 and the 990, but most radios over the last 20 years have some sort of radio control program. All right, so very easy to do that. So how to get to this screen is that I'm using Chrome Remote Desktop. All right, so Chrome Remote Desktop is pretty easy. As long as you've got a Gmail account, you can install it on both machines, run it and, and connect. On the audio side of things, I've got... Um, this is um, Discord. It's my private server. It's my own server. There's no one on it but me. Uh, I haven't got a push to talk button. This is all on Vox. All right, so if I just take the... Uh, I'll just fire me back up again. Hold on. I'm just going to unmute myself again. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you can see that I'm transmitting. And the only other thing that's a bit weird is that I've got a, a webcam and I use a little product called Camdesk. This is my amplifier and I just sit it here. It's just so I can see. If I'll just switch it back on again. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. With experience, you see, I happen to know that that is about 350, 400 watts. So there we are. Done this all for free. And the bandwidth requirement, and I'll just pull that on top of the screen here. So to that line is 3.6, so there's 3, 2, 1. So on average, it needs about 1.5 megabits per second. So even a crappy ADSL line uh, should do this for you quite well. Let me show you how I get on. And um, so let's uh, roll the tape for you. Lima Zulu 4, Delta Japan. Uh, sorry, I've never copied you before, Keith. <laughs> uh, Keith, no, mate. Oh, I'm so excited to talk to you. I've just got my remotes working over. Oh, right. That was a point of view. They're doing a fine job, Colin. Uh, that was not too good at the moment. A bit noisy here, but you're 5'6", 56 into Bulgaria. And uh, what a surprise to me, buddy. But uh, a pleasant one over. Ah, fantastic. Uh, for the benefit of a quick video I want to make, uh, Keith, can I just describe to you what I've done? Yeah, go ahead, mate. Of course you can. Okay, so what I'm doing is I've got, I'm running a Chrome remote desktop uh, on my desktop and on the uh, desktop at the office. So at the office, all the software that I can see on the front of my screen here it's exactly the same as what's running down at the office. So I've got uh, the display in the middle of the screen, uh, Keith, just as I normally have, you know, out the back of the 990. Uh, top right of my screen, I'm running uh, the uh, Kenwood remote control software. Uh, well, is it remote control software? It's the software that you can just run, you know, to control your radio if you want to. Like, anything would work, you know, ham radio deluxe. In fact, a lot of logging software you know, has, you know, frequency up, down and all that sort of thing, filters and whatever else. So if you can, if you can control your, your home, st your, your, your machine with your desktop, that's all I've done, you know. And then uh, hilariously, so I can see what the amplifier is doing. I've got a webcam uh, sitting on my uh, desktop, uh, just fired at the Acom 2000. So I can see roughly how much power we're pushing out. And uh, I can see I'm doing about 450 watts here, uh, Keith. And and basically that's it. And then the audio I use I use Discord, and I've got um, a stereo plug-in, so I can have my left and right still. And in a nutshell, young Keith, that's what I've got. So it's kind of really easy, and it means I can play on my radio at home, and I don't have to drive to the office. LZ for DJ um, Zero XXT. 
That's like zero XXT LZ4 DJ. I, I'll tell you what, uh, Callum, I've, been, I've heard so many people talking about remote stations, and it's something I've, I keep saying I'm going to have a look into because it would be absolutely amazing to uh, to have a set of Putnam Builders over in Spilsbeck in Lincolnshire and uh, be able to talk to people because I, I struggle uh, so.